What's going on, YouTube? Matt here from Garage MC. And as promised, if you guys watched the short earlier, I'm going to do an unboxing on some of the gear that we got for the channel. So stick around, be sure to throw a thumbs up, and you know what else to do. Let's get into it. So let's start out with the least interesting thing out of the new stuff here. This is a extra battery. It's an actual GoPro brand. And if I can get this open, huh, okay. Let's see what this comes with here. We have obviously the paperwork, which is a hell of a thick book here for a battery charger, but whatever. So it's a dual battery charger. Comes with one extra replacement battery to go along with the one that I already have for the camera, which if you guys didn't see the video before, we got the GoPro Hero 9, the black edition. So that's what all this stuff is for. I believe it's the, the 9 and 10 as far as getting the, uh, you know, all the accessories to go with it. I believe they're all the same so far. But uh, we got the dual charging port, GoPro brand, extra battery. So that's the first thing. Comes with uh, the USB-C cord. And that's what comes with that, guys. Here's what the box looks like here. If you guys are interested in looking to get something similar. Um, I'm not sure how to do like links to everything yet. But I'll see if I can figure it out and throw it down in the uh, description of the video for you. Next thing on the list. Move this stuff out of the way. Media Mod. It has the external microphone front and back. Uh, I had already opened this because it was a little ridiculous to open, as you can see. Really making it so if you ever had to return something, the box is definitely damaged. Anyway, in here, the media mod pod or casing. Obviously, it comes with its own paperwork, just like everything else here. A novel for directions. But, let's see here. So this is what this looks like. It has the surrounding microphone. It's got a rear microphone here. Uh, this is the front facing microphone. It has a shoe mount on the right side of the camera and also one on the top. And it has the opening at the bottom for you to hook your tripod or anything. Uh, it's obviously got the buttons accessible through it. How this installs is you pull this little lever down, flip this open. Then on your GoPro, what you're going to do is you're going to take the battery cover, this section here, you're going to take that off and it doesn't, it just comes off very easily. You just pull it a little bit. It's got a little, like a, a ring around it that goes on this little bar here. As you can see the USB-C ports down here. You just line that up just like it is with the camera. Slide your camera in from the side. Click it in. Click it shut, and here is the screen, the wind uh, screen or muff or whatever you want to call it for it. You put it on from the front first, so it goes like this, and it clicks onto the camera. So now you're set up with the media mod. Next item that we got, we got the three-axis gimbal. This is a Falcon Plus. I believe it was uh, $70 to $80 or something like that. But this thing is really cool, guys. It's made by uh, Inkey. But let's open it up and see what we got here. Uh, that wasn't me. That was the box. <laughs> a little bit smaller of a booklet here. But let's see what we got here, guys. This, by the way, if you're wondering, this was uh, I ordered this off Amazon. And this was a free bonus gift that came with this purchase here. So, free bonus gift to me. We'll do a free bonus unboxing of what this is in a minute. So, in the box. Charger cord. Uh, looks like uh, the mounting screw. Here, let's open this up. Let's see what we got here, guys. Allen key. Charger cord, two Allen keys, extra Allen screws and or bolts, I guess you would call them, sorry. 
and one of these knobs to mount it to mount the GoPro to it. So we'll get to that in a second. And I will set this thing up for you guys and show you how to balance it out. Um, I haven't done it yet, but we'll figure it out together right here in this video. Comes with a little velvet bag. It's actually really soft. Uh, it'd be cool if they made something this big enough for your pillow. But anyway, comes with that to carry everything in. And then here is the gimbal itself. It has some decent weight to it. It doesn't feel like it's cheap. Um, it's 360 degree. But let's uh, pull everything out here and we'll get this mounted up. See how this goes. I'm not going to read the directions. That's not my style. We'll just figure it out as we go. Here's the tripod attachment for it, which I also did buy a carbon fiber tripod mount coming. Uh, that'll be here around Tuesday. You guys will see that as soon as I get it. Tripod mount. We won't hook that up right now. You know, it just screws into the bottom. But you can screw this onto the tripod that you guys are watching us off of right now that I have my camera hooked into. That's pretty self-explanatory. We don't need that right now. Let's figure out how to get this on here because when you do mount these on here, from what I understand, you do have to uh, balance it out right so it operates the way that it's supposed to. Let's get the little tabs on the bottom of the GoPro down. They just fall down like that. All right, guys, so what you're going to do is you're going to take out the Allen keys that come supplied with this. You're going to loosen this set screw here. This is what's going to give you the ability to set your GoPro in here, okay? So we'll get it about somewhere. Let's, let's just wing it and see where we're at here. About right there looks right just to give us enough room to cover the shoe mount on the one side. Just go ahead and crank this down. Not too much guys, this stuff's just plastic, small screws. That's about good right there. And you're gonna set your GoPro into the mount. We could figure out which way is right here. And you could still access the uh, the um, screw from the back. <laughs> Probably something I should have read the directions on. <laughs> New. That's not how I roll. All right, guys. So I got this thing pretty well figured out here. Um, as my typical style, I didn't read the directions. I more or less just looked at the illustration on the box. <laughs> Laugh at me if you want, but that's how I get things done. Um, anyway, the microphone goes towards the gimbal part here. And I use the screw that it comes with. I didn't use the um, the knob that it comes with because there's no recess in it on this side. Uh, it mounting this way does make more sense. You can get to the power button, which if it was mounted over here, you couldn't. So it's uh, uh, obviously the way it has to go. Um, I thought I was doing something wrong, but you do have to charge it up. It had a little bit of a charge in it. And this thing is really cool, guys. Um, I'm probably going to be playing with this thing for the rest of the night, figuring everything out. But to power it on, after you get it set on there, and like I said before, you have to adjust it. I don't really think it mattered much, but it did need a little bit of balancing. You can move this set screw up and down, which changes the center of gravity for it. And obviously this sets it far enough away from here so you can fit the GoPro or whatever else you're trying to use if it will fit on this style gimbal. But... As you can see, it's completely not centered right now, but when you hit the power button, powers up and centers itself. This thing is so cool. I'm actually going to get up and show you guys from my point of view what this looks like. But right here you have a joystick, so you could tilt it back or forward. You could pan it left and right. Or... If you want, if you guys see how this is moving like this, there's a trigger on the bottom. If you hold this trigger, you see how it's moving? Now when I squeeze the trigger, it will hold the angle that I'm pointing it at. This thing is so cool. I'm really glad I bought this thing, guys. You guys are in for a treat for some next videos because we are going to be doing some cinematic type shots. I'll tell you what. Here it is from my point of view, guys. You got, obviously, the screen. Don't mind the garage. Yes, there is the 400EX. Uh, I don't know if you've seen the short I put up earlier. 
Yes, that is a brand new Predator 212. It's going to be for the other interactive build. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I'm going to show you guys what's in all those other boxes right there for the interactive build on the Chinese quad that's going on. So stick around and check that stuff out. It's going to be pretty cool. I got some cool stuff for it. But anyway, there we are. Okay, so here's the, the joystick on it. Okay, if you press forward, it comes back at you. If you go backwards, it goes down and you can pan left and right. Just like so. And like I said before, oops, sorry. This thing, the range of motion on it is incredible. I can't believe you can get technology like this for like $80 shipped next day. Amazon Prime. Great deal. Anyway, so like I was saying to you guys before, if you see how the camera's moving with it, now when I squeeze that trigger that's on the bottom with my pointer finger, watch how it moves. I'll tell you when I press it. I'm going to press it right now. Look. The camera stays on the angle that I set it at. And if I'm off center, when I let the trigger go, watch. It balances itself back out. That is like the coolest thing to me, guys. Maybe I, I'm just not an electronics type of guy, but so cool. Before I forget, I told you uh, with the gimbal that I bought, they sent me this extra gift with it. So let's check this thing out real quick. It is a, another stick for the gimbal pod. I guess I can screw them all together. Or this one can go on to this. And then the one that came with the gimbal can go on to that. That's cool. Here's like another, uh, that's approximately six, seven inches taller that you could make it. That's cool. Thanks, Amazon. You guys are the best. Anyway, Sunday, 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 bonus footage for the Chinese interactive build. Uh, if you guys saw the other video about the build, which actually today's the last day to get your comment in on which way you guys want it to go. I feel like I'm beating it in everybody's head, but it's the last day, guys. I will put the link to that video in the description. Put your vote in because I'm tallying them up tomorrow morning and making the second part two, not the second part two, but the part two of the interactive build for the Chinese quad. The wiring on that quad, somebody has cut that thing to no end. It looks like a pile of spaghetti. Anyway, so to take care of that, I purchased this for it, guys. We got a whole new wire harness for the whole quad. This will alleviate all those problems with the wire harness that's on it. Okay, so we got this. And there's a few things in this pile that I'm not going to use, and I'll tell you why. What we also got for that, this was like, by the way, $30 off eBay ship, guys. It was, it was for the whole wire harness, stator, starter relay, CDI, regulator, new key, the thing that goes on the handlebars, the start button for the headlights and everything. It came with a new coil uh, and the box that it came in. It came with that, too. There's nothing else that it came with. I was thinking there's something else here. But anyway, that's going to alleviate our problems for the Chinese build. It's going to make it just such a better machine to work with because it was like very finicky. Anyway, some of the things we won't be using from this because I bought a racing CDI. And you know it's for racing because it's blue anodized. If it was red, it'd probably be even more for racing, but it's not. So we got a racing CDI for it, a coil. Oh, and this is for racing, guys. Spark plug, and it's red, so you, you, you know that's good. But anyway, I think this was like $15. I, I had to buy it. Uh, even if it doesn't work, we have the original, and I'll just send it back. But anyway, next thing we got. We got a cone-style air filter for it, and... A carburetor whole new carburetor way better than the setup that's on there came with the uh, the L to mount it to the engine it goes like this so this carburetor is way better upgrade for that thing but I just wanted to show you guys what we had gotten for that and that's where we're at so if you guys are still here to the end of the video little extra bonus information for you I ordered stickers for the channel 
So when those come around, it's the only time I'm going to order that style sticker. They're going to be exclusive, and I'm going to sign each and individual one. If you guys are liking the videos, you're liking the content, which is only going to get better. Throw me a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good day. I'll talk to you later. See you in the next one.